Hey, what's up, guys? Ek Okiai, as they used to know me back in the days in the streets of Nairobi, Kenya, Matare Valley, Isili, Dandoch, Kariobangi, Namba, all these places, man. Yeah, I'm coming to you again from Dallas, Texas. And I drew her, I know I promise that I'm going to go back to my story and start to narrate in English because a bunch of my friends from other countries are like, man, they can't understand what I'm speaking because most of my most of my channels, I did them actually, I did them in Shang. Shang is a slang language for Nairobi. Like if you grow up in Nairobi in the street, depending with what neighborhood, we use Shang. And I think nowadays it's common everywhere. Everybody uses Shang, right? Already. So right now, I'm just gonna do this short video, but you know, I'm coming to you from Dallas, Texas, by the way. You no, know, you can't believe like a dude like me grew up in Nairobi in the slums, Madare, Madare Valley, a place called Kenduru. You know, Juja Road gas station. There used to be a ESO gas station. Mlango Kubwa, Bondeni area, Kosovo. That's where I was born and raised. That was my hood. That was my, you know. In America, people talk about hood. I know there's hood, but, you know, when it comes to, like, in now, third world countries, it's a different ball game. Hood is hood. Because in America, you can be in the hood, but you're driving a car. You got electricity, you got water, you got everything, you know. So... Right now, I just want to show you, man. This last time I did a video about gutter installation, the importance of installing gutters. And I told you, ignorance can be expensive because when I got the house, it didn't have one and it costed me a lot of money. But since I got this gutters installation, man, it's been really good. I can't even feel the rain sometimes, you know? But now the other thing, Texas, we have been, we've been having some like serious rains and thunderstorms and man, I'm having to do my lawn, cut my grass twice a week because I cut it after three, two days, it's all grown, all right? So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, I'm gonna flip the video and up here I'll show you the gutter that I installed, all right? so. And again, I want to really appreciate you guys for your support. Right now, I'm at 121 subscribers. I really appreciate all of you. And let me tell you, getting people to watch videos on YouTube, man, it's YouTube is a monster. It's a huge channel. It's huge. It's a lot. It takes a lot of work to do that. All right. So, uh, let me show you real briefly. Let me switch this camera right here. So, right here. This is the gutters that I installed last time, you know? And as you can see, this is the spout. Yeah, the guy told me to get this wide one because the, the bigger the, the spout, the better. And it's all one piece going all the way. Sometimes, like I see one of my neighbors, they have the one they installed is like, you know, in pieces and I see some of it is leaking, all right? And let me show you. Previously, all this grass had died. There was no grass here. The ground was sinking. I might have to refill that. You know, I might have to buy. You know, unlike Kenya, you can just go get mchanga, dirt, or soil somewhere. And, you know, just use it for free. Here in America, you gotta buy. You can't. There's nothing for free in America. You gotta go buy soil. You gotta go buy dirt to fill it up. All right so as you can see that spout right here so all the water from the from the roof comes out here and drains out that way and like before it was just going underneath and it was messing up with my foundation and it really cost me a lot of money a lot of money so and now here is my backyard okay I got me one big backyard and the Kikuyu in me. Man, if this was in Kenya, this would be a couple of plots right here. See how big that land is. This is my backyard right here. Look at how big it is. 
but in America you gotta buy by the laws, the rules, city code. You can't just put a structure the way you think you wanna do it. So let's look at that back back here. This is huge. This is like a whole building. You can put up a structure here. You know? Apartment. <laughs> SQ. Alright. So this is my house right here. This is the back here. And as you can see, I just cut this grass over the weekend on Saturday. And it's already grown, you know? It's already grown. It's already grown. Look at the trees. It's been raining like every day. You know? The cost of owning a home here. And instead of me spending money to have somebody come do it, I prefer to do it myself. Because as I'm doing it, because my job, I'm always sitting on the computer. I'm always sitting on the computer, so I prefer to do it so that as I'm doing it, at the same time, I'm getting my cardio in. Yeah, look at that. So we got this thing. I normally use it to put fertilizer. You know, use it to put fertilizer on the grass. So it can kill weed. We got this very stubborn annoying you can't believe i had this before like the whole freaking land when i got it and had a bunch of that crab grass and it's so annoying yeah so you see like these ones right here this is so annoying i need to come and get them out get rid of it and that's how my back here looks like you see that it's huge you can put a whole other structure there and this is the spout another spout right here and trust me it's draining all the water out away from the house all right so let me flip the video one more time yep 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 already so that's it that's how it looks like I gotta do this twice a week right now. We're getting a lot of rain every day. Actually, the lake is full. I think I'll do a video. I'll take you guys down there, see the video. The lake is on, it's completely full right now. The beach is underwater. Anyway, I wanna really appreciate you all, those people who've been following, watching my videos. And before I pan off, before I get off, man, I want you to get this. I want you to know I was not born where I am today, you know? I don't, I know sometimes it's like, because you were born in the poverty, most of us, we tend to think you have to die in poverty. But one thing I came to find out when I became a Christian, the moment I accepted Christ in my life, the Bible says he renewed, you become a new creation and the old is gone. You gotta let yourself allow God to renew your mind you become a new creature i was born in madare i was raised in madare a place called kendururu kisumundogo area if you're on juja road around there used to be a gas station called eso petrol station that's where i was born and uh, i'm gonna continue with my story i actually might have to start over because a lot of my foreign friends they can't understand what i'm talking about because i spoke a lot of shame as i mentioned earlier but I just want to encourage you, wherever you are, this can be you. There's a Koko Madara, you could be in Gero right now, you could be in Kibira, you could be in Majengo, Nyeri, Majengo, Nanyuki, Majengo, Mombasa, you could be Majengo, Nairobi, Korogosho, Kiandururu, you could be in, uh, uh, what is that, in the slums, Dando, Chuko, Namba, you could be in any slum, whatever part of the world also. But if you find God, let God change your mind. Let God transform your mind. He can turn your story around. And I'll be mentioning a few more, like, you know, there's a, me a certain mission that was born because of my testimony. And I want to tell you right now, wherever you are, God can turn your story around for the good of many other people. All right? So I just wanted to share this brief video. But please don't forget to subscribe, share with somebody, and I really appreciate you. And wherever you are, just know, just know, I know it's hard times. And sometimes when you're at that point at the peak, you feel like there's no hope. You feel like, you know, 
you want to die, there's hope. The Bible says it's better a living dog than a dead lion. Do not give up. I've been there. I think I'm just going to do justice. And what? You dig it? I'm going to have to share. I'm going to have to share. I'm going to have to, you know. I like to share my life testimony. Because you never know. Like another day I said a prayer on Facebook. And, you know, I prayed to God there's just one person to be touched. And guess what? It happened. That's, that's prayer. And I felt the conviction of God to say the prayer on Facebook. And it happened. So wherever you are, you might be in your darkest moment right now. But let me encourage you and tell you that there is hope. Do not give up. Do not give up. Okay? Do not give up. This is somebody who fed from the trash. I ate in the trash. Nairobi, Isili, Ngara, all this. I used to feed in the trash. Kokota Chakula. I used to beg in the streets. But by the grace of God, look at what God has done. He can do it for you too. All right? So, I appreciate you. Don't forget. Please, subscribe, share. And uh, you never know whose life's gonna be changed. All right. God bless you. See you in the next video. Hala.